Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining the two dimensional weaving pipeline of computer graphics. So, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So, let me start the explanation. So, before understanding what is a weaving pipeline, you need to know what is a scene first. In computer graphics, a scene may contain so many geometrical figures. You can see here, this is a simple scene. This scene is made up of geometrical figures like triangle, rectangle, uh, right, square, circle. So, here you can see that a computer uh, generated graphics, a computer generated scene is nothing but a set of geometrical objects here. Getting guys? So, next, so the scene here represented using word coordinates. So, you can see here, this scene, this is a real world scene, right? That's why this scene is represented using a word coordinates because this this uh, scene is present in the real world. That's why. And in real world, I don't want to display each and everything in my computer screen. For example, here, I don't want this uh, entire uh, scene in the world coordinate to be displayed on my screen. So, what I can do means I can only select this portion that is uh, up upper portion that is uh, this uh, triangle and the circle. I wanted only these things to be displayed on my screen. So, that section of two dimensional scene that is selected for display is called as clipping window. Understanding guys? So, initially the scene will be in the form of word coordinates. Word coordinate means it will contain uh, 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 each and every geometrical objects of the scene, but if I am not interested to uh, display the entire scene. I am interested only in the particular part of the scene that is here. In this example, the triangle and the circle. Then I can select that only. Uh, I can select that only part. That is called as clipping process. So clipping process means you can select only the content that is to be displayed. Getting guys? If uh, if you don't want to display the things, you can just remove them. Here I removed this, but I included these two things, a triangle and the circle. Getting guys? Now, so far you know that the scene will be in the form of word coordinates, but if I am not interested in the every component of a word coordinate, I can select only the interested, uh, I, I can select only the uh, components that are interested to, to me. So, that is that process is called clipping and the window that is used to display this selected component is called clipping window. You are getting right? Next, you can see here. So, you can see the clipping window selects what we want to see. The clipping window selects what we want to see. Here in this scene, the clipping window selected only this portion that's uh, because I am only wanted to see this. That's why clipping window selects what we want to see. But see here, viewport indicates where it is to be displayed or where it is to be viewed on the output device. So, see here, uh, I selected only this part. Now, I have to select where to be displayed, uh, where to display this particular uh, clipped part. Uh, for example, uh, I can use a viewport. Viewport is nothing but a display area where I can uh, display the content that is from the clipped window. For example, getting guys, so here, uh, this is the word scene, just I selected this scene. Now, after selecting this part, I need to display this, right? So, that window to display the selected scene is nothing but a viewport. Getting guys? So, clipping window selects what we want to see, but uh, after selection, we want to select an area to display that content in output device and that is called as viewport. And one more important thing here, you can see here, by changing the position of the viewport, we can view objects at different positions. See here, in this viewport, this uh, selected content, selected uh, graphic is displayed in the center. 
you can display your content in whatever position you want for example you can display the same uh, the figure in the corner or in the left side or in the right side like that uh, you can uh, display your graphics uh, based on the different different uh, uh, right you can display your graphics in different different parts of the uh, computer uh, that is output device using this viewports for each uh, display the different different display you can use different different viewports getting guys getting so i brief this so uh, initially the scene will be there in the world coordinates i am not interested in uh, every component uh, just i say select only the interested things so that is that process is called as clipping and right so that display the selected uh, content will be uh, right that process of uh, selection is nothing but clipping window so but once the right uh, the graphics is selected i want to display that in a proper format right that's why i need a viewport getting guys now so the uh, this is the same example so see here this is the graphical scene this is the clipping window it, uh, inside the clipping window whatever the content inside the clipping window that will be selected uh, the content outside the clipping window will be removed you can see here and uh, after the content that is inside the clipping window is selected by clipping the unwanted parts then that will be displayed in the viewport only the selected content only the content that is selected after clipping the unwanted things will be displayed in viewport getting guys now you can understand this in a more better way you can see here these are the coordinates world coordinates this uh, one more important point this screens uh, clipping window viewports are in the rectangular fashion and uh, this rectangular windows contain some coordinates x uh, in x axis x we mean x we max uh, in y axis uh, y we mean y we max see, uh, see here x w means here what word coordinate v means here what view coordinates getting guys so this is the scene i selected only the interested content after selecting the interested content by removing the unwanted parts i display that uh, content in the viewport in the display area i can uh, display wherever i want using the viewport getting guys now weaving pipeline so now i will explain the what actually a weaving pipeline so far you know that uh, what is a scene what is a clipping process what is a clipping window and what is a viewport so clipping process means you removing the unwanted uh, content from the scene and uh, after removing that content you have to store that in a clipping window after but once the clipping is done you have to display it in the output device right you can display that uh, uh, clipped content uh, by removing the unwanted uh, things right so that content can be displayed in the viewport you are, for example i told you you can display the content in the viewport in different different position either in a center in a left side in a right side in a corner or in a bottom like that now what is a weaving pipeline this process whatever we uh, whatever i told about the weaving coordinates and the world coordinates process those process uh, is explained in a very detailed way here see here so this is a weaving pipeline so here we have four uh, steps here uh, the first step is what you are going to uh, take the input model coordinates after that the model coordinates is converted into world coordinate then we will pass the word coordinate into the next phase word coordinate will be passed uh, will be converted into weaving coordinate then weaving coordinate will be converted into normalized coordinate lastly normalized coordinate will be converted into device coordinates what is this so now we will uh, understand this in a more detailed way see here so this is a scene right so this is a scene see the later this is a scene you can see here this graphical scene can be made up of some models geometrical models you can see so this scene is made up of some geometrical models such as triangle circle rectangle so these models that are used to 
construct is seen or nothing but modeling coordinates by using this modeling coordinate and i will construct a scene right that scene will be in which coordinate word coordinate getting guys after the word coordinate i need to display my interesting for example in this scene i am interested only in this circle that's why what i have to do means first i have to set the weaving space to display my circle i will set the weaving coordinates getting guys after the, the setting the weaving coordinate i will do the clipping clipping means i will re remove the unwanted part only i will select this uh, circle here weaving coordinate set set here right after the weaving coordinate is set i am going to do the clipping i am removing unwanted part i am only selecting this circle and i am going to display this in the normalized coordinates normalized coordinates means understand this guys see here i just selected the display area once the display area is selected you have to clip the unwanted content then you have to uh, select that interested content and you have to properly right set up that in your uh, viewport that is nothing but normalized coordinates actually clipping will takes place in normalized coordinates that's why here so i uh, first uh, first what i did i selected the modeling models i constructed the scene in word coordinates next i selected the display area so after selecting the display area it's uh, i need to select the content that is interested i selected that that is clipping after that i have to properly map that uh, this is the perfect word i have to properly map this interested uh, content into the viewport so that is taken care by normalized coordinates lastly my graphics can be di displayed in different different devices right so i can see my graphics in a computer i can see my graphics in a mobile i can see my graphics in a tab so whatever the device is the graphics should be displayed properly even if it's a computer even if it's a mobile even if it's a tab that's why my graphics will be displayed in computer with respect to computer coordinates my graphics will be displayed with respect to mobile coordinates in mobile my graphics will be displayed with respect to tab in ta uh, with respect to tab coordinates in tablet so getting guys so that is the process i explained here see first modeling coordinates this is next world coordinates this is next weaving coordinates so what is this uh, weaving coordinates so next weaving coordinates next weaving coordinate to normalized coordinates this is one so why 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 i need normal coordinates after clipping the unwanted thing after selecting one of the interested thing you need to map that uh, selected thing into the viewport selected thing into the viewport this is a viewport right selected thing into the viewport we have to map that is nothing but normalized coordinate lastly lastly device coordinate because my graphics needs to be displayed in different different devices that's why i need to select different different coordinates to display my graphics getting guys understood these four steps first step second step third step fourth step so i will brief this so the mapping of two dimensional word coordinates see in description to divide coordinates the total process the this four steps is called as what two dimensional weaving transformation getting guys once a word coordinate scene has been constructed we set up a two dimensional weaving coordinate what we did see once the word coordinate is constructed we set up a weaving coordinate see getting guys now next for specifying clipping window why why we use this uh, display area weaving coordinate to specify the clipping using this uh, weaving coordinates i can clip the interested contents uh, i can select the interested content and i can uh, remove the unwanted contents here the selected content interested content is uh, circle next lastly to make the weaving process independent of the requirements of any output device right so it will convert object descriptions in normalized coordinates that means a uh, clipping clipping routines so clipping will be done in the normalized coordinates 
see clipping will be done with the normalized coordinates why we have to do this means first uh, if we do clipping in the normalized coordinates i can map this uh, graphics into different different devices without any problem if you do not do clipping in the normalized coordinate then you can't map this uh, graphics into different different devices that's why you can see here clipping is usually performed in normalized coordinates to make mean to make this clipping process independent of the devices i'm going to use normalized coordinates getting guys so next lastly you know that final step after the clipping is done in a normal coordinate after in the final step right so the weaving transformation the contents of the view fort are transferred into a display window see the contents of the view port this is a view port but it is mapped to normalized coordinates so this content is going to be transferred to display window here whatever what is the display window here maybe it a display window may be a computer display window may be a mobile display window may be a tablet so last so it will be transferred to display window the display window can be different on different different devices right guys so that's it guys hope you understood the concepts if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please click the bell icon to get the notifications and don't forget to like and share